Today we're going to look at the SafePal wallet app. Now this website, this is for the actual hardware wallet. This looks like an incredible wallet. I'm going to do a full review of this wallet very soon as well, the actual hardware wallet today. However, if you come over here and you look at products, you go to the hardware wallet. This wallet is actually on back order. So they're not shipping until May 31st. So once I get this in, by the way, I purchased this package right here. I purchased all three of these, the leather case, the metal board to save your private key and the actual wallet itself. $94.97 for all three of those. By far, I believe that's probably the best deal available when it comes to hardware wallets. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the SafePal wallet. However, that is an affiliate link. So if you use that link, you will be supporting the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Now, today we're looking at the actual app. So I don't want you to confuse the two. There's a SafePal wallet, the hardware wallet like this. And then there's an actual app that you can download on your mobile device. The app looks very similar to this right here, the icon on the app. You can download it from the Google Play Store. I believe there's an Apple uh, version as well. I'm using an Android device today, but it doesn't matter. They are going to work very similar. We're actually going to hop into my phone and we're going to go through downloading, setting this up, and then I'm going to kind of run through some of the paces with it as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. But before we do, let me just say this. If you believe in cryptocurrency, you believe in the future of this technology, then do me a favor and smash that like button. Also, if you love the idea of earning passive income with cryptocurrency, go down in the description and subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits newsletter. Learn how you can get multiple streams of passive income. Daily emails teach you everything. A multi-year track record. Been doing this using these techniques for several years now. I'm also going to be uh, opening up a, a whole brand new content related to my crypto passive trading bots. And that's going to be going to our email subscribers as well. So you don't want to miss that. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So we're going to start from the very beginning. This is what the app looks like when you pull it up in the Play Store. We're going to go ahead and click install. And by the way, all I did was search SafePal. This is what the icon is going to look like once we get it installed. So we'll go ahead and click install. I'm using my thumb because I'm on the phone, obviously. That's going to be downloading. We'll click open. We want to choose software wallet. Hi, welcome to SafePal. Before you start, please take one minute to complete the security settings to protect your assets and privacy. All right, I'm going to have to block part of this out, but let's go ahead and click next. Please enter a password. So I'm going to do this right now. Okay, once I entered in my password, it brought me to this. So now I'm going to create a pattern. So it had me create the pattern twice. Congratulations, you're now ready to start the SafePal journey. Important tip, SafePal will not store your passwords, pin code, private keys, or mnemonic phrase. Please store these critical information with secure methods and do not disclose to any third party. I want to read that. I know some of you, this is your second or third or fourth or 15th wallet, but I felt it was important to read that because I know some people may be brand new reading this for the very first time. And I just have to say this. Anytime you set up a wallet, your private keys, mnemonic phrase is extremely important. It is the most important information. You have to handwrite it. Do not save it as a file on your computer. Do not put it in your email. I know someone who lost over $100,000 because he had his wallet saved in his email address. And once his email got hacked, they got access to his cryptocurrency. So whatever you do, keep that secret. Start the SafePal journey. Software wallet. Again, we're going to be reviewing the hardware wallet in the future. Today, we're starting with a software wallet. Click this uh, create wallet. We're not importing a wallet. Of course, that option is there. We're going to create a wallet. Enter in your security password. Enter the wallet name. We'll just call this. All right. And by the way, then I love this mnemonic phrase. You can do 12 or 24. And then we're going to click done. New wallet is created. Mnemonic phrase is very important. Losing it will lead to permanent asset loss. If you lose this mnemonic phrase, you will lose whatever cryptocurrency is in your wallet. Absolutely nobody can get it back for you. This is what makes cryptocurrency so incredible. You truly own your asset. But with that, it also means that nobody can ever retrieve that asset for you. It is 1000% in your ownership. All right, back up my phrase. The loss of a mnemonic phrase will lead to permanent asset loss. Please back up the mnemonic phrase. Okay, once the app is deleted, the wallet data will be all deleted. Okay, understood. Okay, once I put in the mnemonic phrase, this is what I came to. Oh, I like that feature. You can click right here and it can hide your balance. 
that's just kind of a neat feature, particularly when you're on YouTube. So it shows us currently our assets that we have here. This is the SafePal native token, 225. Nice. BNB, BEP20, BEP2, the original BNB. We got Ethereum, we got BTC. All right, let's click on NFTs. What's that all about? No data yet. I guess we can send NFTs to the wallet. That's a pretty cool feature. What is this? Sorting rules, sort by value, by name, and click on settings right here. Ah, we can turn stuff on and off that we want to see. Oh, they have a lot of coins in here. Oh, check that out. Add custom tokens. Okay. Wait a minute. I see this right here. I want to see what this is. Ethereum. Check that out. These are all the different blockchains. So we can put ERC20s in here, Tron, Stellar, Binance Smart Chain. Okay, this is this is really good custom tokens. So that means basically we can add any token on all those blockchains. That's going to be awesome. All right, let me go back. Let me go back. Very good. What do we got down here? going to click right here. DeFi markets kind of overview the market. That's very good. Wow. Finance depth. Wow. Okay. This is awesome. Wallet holder offering. I don't even know what that is. You're about to be redirected to a third party DAP when making a transfer. Please make sure that you're aware of the financial risk. Okay. I love that. Click confirm. We can use pancake swap right inside of the app. That's awesome. Then just take us back. We got compound. That's awesome. Okay. Favorites. BSC. These are all the BSC dApps. See, so the thing that I've seen about this wallet that I thought I was going to love, and I think this is it, I'm loving it, is really the usability. Very, very user-friendly, very intuitive. Man, I'm just going through those tools. Coin market cap right here, the BSC scan, Ethereum scan, Tron scan. Okay. This is great. They got Unrec up here. If you don't know what Unrec is, I plan to do a whole video on that soon. So subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon. We got Tron, Just Swap, Just Lend, Tron Scan. Wow. Just Swap Browser. This is incredible. Okay. So what's it? Oh, they got an in app swap. Okay. This is actually something I'm going to test out. I want to see, and I'll cover it on another video. I want to see if I can swap. I want to see if I can easily swap BEP20 tokens for ethereum bnb bep 20 this is if i have bitcoin okay you know what i'm gonna actually test this out now like right now okay so let's go back this is my settings transaction cost i would set that to low as default just don't forget you did that currency of course mine is set the usd language of course is english i have an address book that's not unusual okay let's come over here we're going to click Bitcoin and we're going to click receive. I'm going to send some Bitcoin. I love this right here. I love this feature. By the way, if you want to tip me some Bitcoin, there you go. Oh, and while we're at it, if, while you're at it, if you want to support the channel and, and tip some BNB BEP20 tokens. So do not send BNB BEP2 tokens or ERC20 tokens to this address. Awesome. But if you want to send me some BNB BEP20, there you go. It's on the screen. You can send a tip. Okay. So seriously though, let's go to receive, send myself some Bitcoin. All right. While I do this, I'm just, all you gotta do is click copy and I have another wallet. I'm just going to hop over there and send Bitcoin to this address. I just want to convert Bitcoin to BNB and see how easy that works. Okay. So I'm waiting on the BTC to show up. I literally just sent it, but by the way, just notice this right here as well. This is super cool. So they, you can use Legwit, Segwit, or native Segwit. So lots of options. Very versatile wallet. By the way, it's running very, very smoothly. I'm liking this a lot. There was an X right at the top. That's what I had to click on. All right, I'm going to wait until this shows up. Should show up. Oh, there it is. Already. By the way, that was actually pretty fast. Oh, pending. 
Okay, so we'll get a few confirmations and then that we should be able to see if we can convert BTC to BNB. Okay, so here we go. That transaction finally went through. By the way, it took a long time to go through, over an hour. That's That was a long time. Okay, so now here's what we want to do. I want to see what it would take. By the way, I'm loving the functionality of this while I was just kind of clicking around. Super fast, super smooth, designed really, really well. Now I want to see if I can exchange. How the, does that work? Can I exchange for BNB BEP20? And what does that do? So, oh, here we go, 50%. I can click that. I started, that's what I was going to do anyway. I can also click on max. Okay, I just see that. I just saw that. So you need to have at least 0 .03, 0 0.003 Bitcoin to trade this pair. Okay, so I can't trade it because I don't have enough Bitcoin. I wonder why I need to have that much Bitcoin. Why is that the minimum number? Okay, so I'm not going to be able to trade because I don't have the minimum amount to be able to trade this pair. So I wonder if I can trade... Oh, I can trade one inch BEP20. Max, we'll click trade. Network fee of $16, that's not in the world. Let's do a swap on that. What I'm hoping to do is after I do this, and your security password, I'm hoping after I do this, I'm gonna be able to then convert one inch to BNB. Let me pause this so I can type in my password. All right, so it came to this page, and it says exchange time, about 22 minutes. So now it's uh, order created. We can see right here, transferred out. It's going to be exchanging, transferred in, success. So we'll see how long this takes. They're saying 22 minutes, so we'll wait and see if this works. This, I got to tell you, being able to do this right inside the app with so many different coins, so many different options, and across BNB, since I'm using the BNB platform, I, I think I'm going to love this. All right, so now that was awesome. That was completed. Let's go back, and let's see if we can convert one inch to BNB. Not, BNB not is not enough to pay for miners' fees. Oh, I don't have any BNB tokens in here. Got it. I didn't mean to do all that with the tokens. I wasn't expecting to do all that with the tokens. Um, I'm glad I did, however, so that you could kind of see some transactions and how it works. Stay tuned. I'm going to, like I said, cover the SafePal hardware wallet in the future. And I'm also going to kind of research a little bit more about transferring to BNB. I think this may be another option for those who want to be part of the Binance Smart Chain. Um, I think it might actually be quicker and easier than some of the other wallets out there. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you love cryptocurrency and you believe in the future of cryptocurrency, do me a favor and smash that like button. Also, if you want to see my review of the Atomic Wallet that I did the end of last year, I'll link that video on the end screen. You can go ahead and watch that video as well. One thing that I don't like about the SafePal wallet, I'll wrap up with this, that I, I think this wallet is created by Binance. So my favorite exchange is the Binance Exchange. I did a video showing how to set up a Binance account. I'll link that uh, above. I'll put it on the end screen as well. But using the Binance Exchange, particularly for my trading bots, and it's because the fees are so good. Using the SafePal wallet and the hardware wallet, again, it's because it's convenient. I don't like the fact that I'm, uh, you know, by using SafePal, by using Binance, I'm starting to corner myself in a position where I'm using all of the Binance ecosystem. I just don't love that. And if I have a concern, that's the concern. It doesn't mean I won't use it for convenience purposes, but I probably wouldn't store a tremendous amount on this wallet, at least not the software wallet, maybe the hardware wallet. Just in the back of my head, I'm always concerned about uh, using too many products from the exact same ecosystem, if you will. I don't know, do you think I'm needlessly concerned about that? Let me know down in the comments. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.